This is just an update on Malapasca after Typhoon Yolanda. This is taken in early April, five months after the typhoon hit. The first thing you'll notice if you ever arrived into Malapasca before is it's a lot less greener. As you can see from my previous video, the change is dramatic. Bounty Beach looks totally different without all the palm trees. I was just totally shocked by how bare it looked from before. And the scars of the typhoon are still evident even five months after. This is a video I did a couple of years ago and you can see how much more greener it is. An update on the resorts, most are pretty much back to normal. Abana, the two basic fan rooms at the front are still under repair and should be open by the time you watch this video. The rest of the rooms are running back as normal. Mr Quiz was running as normal. Everything was up and running at Evolution, including a new building at the back with some new rooms. Exotic was running as normal. They also have some new super deluxe rooms at the front, which they've knocked down the old fan rooms. And our beach resort was badly damaged by the typhoon. Early April, half their cottages were still under repair. This is what it looked like previously, before the typhoon. The typhoon also eroded a lot of the sand in front of the resort. Legends was running back to normal, as was Hibba Campus and Ocean Vida Resort. Little Mermaid, or previously known as Sun Splash Resort, was running as normal. Cocobana was a little less green. Its rooftop bar was still under repair. It should be reopened by the time you watch this video. It also now has a swimming pool, which unfortunately opened the day before the typhoon, but it's back to normal now. Blue Water Resort, the little restaurant bar at the front was damaged, as well as a couple of the cottages were totally destroyed. Blue Corals Resort, the building with the blue roof in the distance. All rooms were open. K5 was gutted. Only a couple of the rooms are left. Maldito's was back to normal, including the restaurant. White Sand Bungalows was missing a couple of bungalows at the end, but staff told me that that wasn't caused by the typhoon. Tiffany was back to normal. BB's Resort was running as normal. Mangrove had still a little bit of damage. The main building still had damage to its roof. The cottages down by the ocean were fine, except the trees were a little bare down there. Moonlight Resort still had a little bit of damage. The restaurant was damaged, but the rooms themselves were open for business. Vantigi Cove was gutted and was closed for renovation. This resort needs a lot of work, so it won't open for a while. This is the restaurant. Jingjing's restaurant had been majorly damaged, but the restaurant was still open and it was working under a tarpaulin. La Ista Bonita restaurant was closed. Like with Bentane Island, Malapasco locals are suffering and there's still a lot of work to be done in the villages behind the resorts. To get a better understanding of how severe this typhoon was, just wander around the island or hire a motorbike. You can see how much damage has been done. Just riding motorbikes through the dirt tracks around Malapasco, you can just see how barren the whole place looks still. Even with all the destruction, you can see greenery starting to grow back. If you want to do some island hopping the nearby island of Kalingaman, this is what it looked like before the typhoon and what it looks like today. Again a lot less green than it was ever before, but still the beach is beautiful as ever. Although the sandbar has changed to the La Manuk Island, it's basically the same except for the, the sandbar in the middle as well has changed and some of the fishermen's huts have been destroyed by the typhoon. Back on Malapasco Island, locals are still getting relief aid. The day I was there, they were giving out water containers. Like with Bentane Island, Malapasco is slowly coming back. It still has some really gorgeous beaches, as well as its fantastic diving. And to get back on its feet, it really needs a tourist dollar. And it's still a fantastic place to holiday in. And with the tourist numbers down at the moment, the resorts are more flexible with prices, so you may be able to get some real bargains. Now has never been a better time to travel to Malapasco. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.